Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Vapid GP200. Now, as of today, we did get a new DLC from Rockstar. It is called the SA Super Sport. Uh, and I think it's more of like a racing DLC, but we did get five new additions in the vehicle sense. And these are the first three. We've got the Vapid GB200. Then we've got the Tapan, which is this bad boy. And then we've got the Entity XXR. <laughs> I mean, this Entity XXR looks so much like the um, Coenseg CTX. Uh, I actually done a, a build on it the other day, uh, believe it or not. I done a build on the Coenseg CCX and they bring out a brand new entity which looks even more like the Coenseg. And I also done a video on um, a RS200 and then they bring out the GB200. I mean, what are the chances of that, really? I mean, it's literally, I found... The, the closest vehicles I could to replicate these cars originally and then a few weeks later Rockstar come and bring out cars which are even closer to them in real life it is fucking unreal uh, I'll go quickly show you a quick glimpse at the other two vehicles that we did get in this DLC and they look pretty cool too this one's not you know not something that I'm too worried about the Volker Fagalua I think that's how you'd say it anyway, Fagalua, that's what it sounds like. And then we've got this bad boy, we've got the Declassy Hot Ring Sabre, and that is obviously a stock car, and it looks fucking immense, that looks so good, I can't wait to customise that, uh, but that will come in a future video, hopefully very, very soon. But we're here today for this Vapid GP200, aka the RS200 in real life, and if you just look at it, man, it looks amazing, it looks so close to its real life counterpart it is, isn't even funny you know it's got that crazy wing at the back it's got the big scoop on the roof it's even got the singular circled headlights as the real one does it's crazy some of these vehicles that Rockstar chuck into this game which are so close to its real life counterpart I'm, I struggle to think how, how Rockstar get away with it because there's no licensing with Rockstar they they apparently make their cars up <laughs> you know that's why we've got these weird um, titles like Vapid GB 200. It's even got the 200 in it. You know, it's even named similar to its real life. Real life is RS 200, and this one's a GB 200. And you know, it's just crazy how how they do manage to get away with it. But I love that the fact that they do get away with it. I would prefer if they had licensing and we had the real cars in the game, but we don't have that. And I just love how Rockstar can get it so motherfucking close it is fucking amazing but anyway guys like i said we're here to customize and review this vehicle today it is going to cost you nine hundred and forty thousand dollars so it is pretty expensive but just look at it it looks amazing it's nothing like what we've got in the game already and uh, i'm really looking forward to customizing it so if you do want to follow me on this build go and purchase your vapid gb200 for nine hundred and forty thousand dollars meet me back in ls customs and we'll see what sort of customization we can do so you go my dudes, as you pull into Alice Customs, you'll see the Vapid GB200 is in the sports category. Now as always guys, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes. And then we're going to move on to the bumper, front bumper. We don't have loads of options for the front bumper, but we do have a few, which is pretty cool. So we've got the fog lights, then we've got the removed fogs. Oh okay, so we've got the fog lights as stock, then we've got the fog light covers, then we can remove the fog lights altogether, uh, and then we've got this scoop splitter. And then we've got the same, but with an exposed intercooler. Now, th for this, I think we're going to go street. I'm going to try and make it look as street as possible. So I'm going to go with the exposed intercooler. So then we've got the rear diffuser. So not rear bumper, so the bumper's not going to change. It is just going to be this diffuser. Um, we can't sit there because I just removed it, <laughs> which is just sits underneath the bumper. So there, like I said, you can remove it. Then we've got the rally one, which is pretty cool. And then we've got the same sort of thing but we've got a little tow hook at the back there as well. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go as street as possible, and um, I think that one does it, so I'm going to go with a diffuser with the tow hook. Next, we've got the chassis. Uh, so, we've got the rally fog lights at the front. We've got the secondary cage, which is inside. There we go. So, with the fog lights, we don't get a cage. Then we've got the primary cage, chrome cage, and the rally setup. Oh, well, sweet. So we can get the, the fog lights and a roll cage as well, which is obviously called the rally setup. And that looks pretty cool. But we're not going for the rally look. We are going to go for the street look. And I think this chrome cage does the business. So I'm going to keep the chrome cage. 
Then we're going to move on to the engine. We're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. Uh, the minute it's a bit of a puny, puny exhaust. So hopefully this twin chrome exhaust is going to look fucking sweet. And uh, that's nothing to rage about. Or rave about, should I say. But it's better than the stock one. So we're going to grab it. Next, we're going to move to the lights. I'm going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And then we've got the option for a livery, which is pretty cool. So, at the minute, we've got obviously nothing. And then we've got the classic white stripe, which you can just, just see on the hood of the car. And it goes all the way over to the roof and down to the back. And then we've got the lower blue stripes. That doesn't look too bad, actually. It gives it a nice retro look, which is, which is cool. Um, we've got the classic blue stripes. I'll tell you what. With them classic blue stripes, the white paint job, um, from the front, it actually looks like an old Escort. Old Escort Cosworth, it looks pretty cool, man. Uh, then we've got the black stripes. I like them. Nice. Oh, I'm, I'm actually digging some of these uh, liveries, which are cool. I don't mind the pattern liveries like this. It's the liveries of all the logos that I'm not a massive fan of, like these. So the Red Rally, I'm not a massive fan of, like I said, because it's got all the logos. This one's a little bit more toned down, so I don't mind that one so much. It's pretty cool colours on there. Uh, again with the blue rally I'm not a massive fan and the arrow gasoline actually looked quite cool it's not overly um, populated with with logos and stuff so you know I'm not I don't mind that one the spunk one you know I don't I'm not, not digging that one at all and then we've got back to none so I do like some of the liveries and I think I'm gonna actually purchase one because I don't I don't actually mind that one with the white paint job as well it actually looks really cool but I think it's more of a rally livery so I'm gonna stay clear of them uh, I'm thinking maybe this one the low blue stripe because I think that actually looks really cool and I'll probably end up keeping the bodywork uh, white so the white and the blue actually complement each other I think quite nicely um, but then we could have alternatively the the arrow gasoline but then again with the logos it actually looks quite rally like so I'm not gonna go with that I don't think so all the blue stripe I actually really like that one Oh man, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't even know what colour and grab the car yet. I'll probably end up keeping it white because it actually suits white really nicely. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to stay none for now. I'm going to choose the colour of the car and then I'll come back and make a decision then. But for now, we have an option to change the mirrors, which is quite nice. So obviously, we've got the stock mirrors installed. Then we've got the racing mirrors, the carbon racing mirrors, and the secondary mirrors. So the secondary is exactly the same as the stock, but obviously it's going to change with your secondary colour rather than your primary colour. And then you've got the carbon racing and the, uh, the just the normal racing. Um, me personally, I don't think the racing ones look that great. I think they don't really suit the style of the car. So I'm going to stay with the stock mirrors. Then we've got a choice of mudguards. Uh, but again, I think the mudguards is quite rally-like. So uh, again, I'm going to stay clear of the mudguards. So now we're going to move on to the respray. We're going to go primary colour. I'm going to stay classic because I might have a livery applied to this and I don't want that weird metallic shine on the livery. So I'm going to stay classic. Um, not really sure what colour I'm going to go for. Purple actually looks really sexy. It looks really nice. Um, so I'm thinking maybe like an ultra blue might look cool. And then have some sort of white uh, livery on there. Ultra blue actually looks really, really good really impressed with the way that looks this is going to be one of them cars that suits pretty much every fucking colour we've got um, even the harbour blue looks really cool man uh, maybe a green what was a green like so it can match up with my harnesses on my bucket seats lime green actually looks really good you know lime green doesn't suit many cars in this game um, but the GB200 is definitely one of them cars that it does suit uh, the gasoline green also looks good. The bright green. <laughs> Man, all these colours look good. This is a difficult decision. Racing green looks fucking sweet as well. Man, this is a really difficult decision. Bright green is actually really nice. It suits them. Um, harnesses a little bit better than any of the other colours, I think. Um, I thought I might go with the bright green. You know, I don't think I've ever built a car with bright green. Or green, any green, to be honest. Like uh, from a review standpoint, I don't think I've ever built a car using bright green. So in that case, I am going to purchase bright green. For one, I don't think I've ever used a colour on a car, and two, it matches the harnesses to a fucking T. So yeah, I'm going to go classic bright green. Then we're going to go to the secondary colour. What is this going to change? We're also going to go into classic. At the moment, we've got ice white. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to change that stripe, which it does, and it also changes the little detail on the seats there. If you can see that changing. 
Um, so in that case, I think I'm going to stay ice white with that because frost white's a little bit darker, and ice white pink, make it pings a little bit nicer, and I don't mind that white stripe going across there as well. So yeah, I'm going to stay ice white for the secondary color. I'm going to quickly jump back to the liveries right now and see if any of these liveries actually suit this color of card that I've chosen. Um, I've gone straight to the the classic white stripes. Me personally, I don't think that actually suits it now. The blue, blue and green should never be seen, so that's gonna that's gonna be a no. Um, the black actually doesn't look too bad, but I think it looks better without it. You know, so I thought I'm just gonna leave the livery off it now. I'm quite happy with the color, and it just be actually that doesn't look, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad, but I think it looks better without a livery. Now I've changed that colour, I'm actually really, really liking the green colour, um, but liking it as a plain colour as well. I think if I put a livery on it, it's going to ruin it, so I'm going to stay none for the livery. Um, what I might do though, is because I'm going for that street look, I think I might go for a neon kit. So I'm going to go neon kit, layout, go front, back and sides. Uh, the neon colour is white at the moment. I'm, what am I thinking? Maybe a lime green? Fuck yeah, that. <laughs> let's go with the lime green, that looks cool as fuck. So I'm going to go lime green for it. So the next category we've got is the sun strip. We'll go quickly go into that and see what it looks like with a sun strip. Not digging it. I'm going to leave the sun strip off. Then we've got the side skirts. We are going to get the extended skirts because then it's going to match that front bumper real nice. Yeah, look at that. Come on. Then we've got the spoiler. Uh, the minute we've got this crazy ass fucking wing at the back. Um, I think our spoiler is going to actually look fucking a bit retarded on that. But do we get an added traction bonus? Well, the traction is all the way up to the top as it is, man. Fuck me. That is nuts. So um, we do get an option of a roof spoiler, and I think that's probably the best option if we do need it for a traction bonus, but I don't think we do, um, because as, as looking at this, the traction is all the way to the top, so I'm assuming it's going to be uh, controlled by downforce, so I, I'm not going to get a spoiler, I think that definitely ruins it, especially those two monstrosities, I mean they're fucking horrible. This one isn't too bad if you want a spoiler, um, but me personally I think it looks better without, so I'm going to stay none. Next we've got the suspension, we're going to get the race suspension, then we've got the transmission, we're going to get a race transmission, and then we've got the trunk. So the trunk, oh okay, I understand, I got a bit confused then, because yeah, it's a rear engine car. Um, the hood, what it, what it normally is, is now the trunk, because it's obviously the, uh, the engines at the back. <laughs> so, trunk, we've got it smoothed, and to be honest, I like the stock one, to be honest, that looks fucking sweet, so hopefully we can get something really cool. Then we've got the rally cross, where it removes the lights. Uh, kind of gives it a little bit of a stock look as well, which is quite cool. Then the rally cross smoothed. So if you want it smoothed all together, I'm I'm not liking that we've got these options without the lights. I mean, I actually like that. It looks quite cool, the vented rally. But if it had the lights, it'd look better, you know. And then we've got the scoop. And then let's remove the lights again. And then we've got lights. <laughs> Shit, so you can carbon the whole top of your car, man. What the fuck? So, I'm, I'm, even though a lot of these are pretty unique and look pretty cool, and I think someone could make really good modification builds out of it, um, I don't think any of them suit what I want to do or what I want them for. I think this one's pretty cool, but it's already got a scoop on the roof, so I think another scoop on the hood is a bit too much. Um, that's probably my favourite one, but then again, you don't get the headlights, which is a downside in my opinion. So in that case, I think I'm just going to stay stock because I think it looks pretty sweet as it is. Then we're going to move on to the turbo. We're going to get a turbo tuning. Next for the wheels, the stock wheels are actually pretty cool, um, but I thought I'm going to change them. I thought I'm going to change them, so I'm going to start in the sport category. I'm going to go chrome, and. Um, yeah, I'm not actually. I'm not sure. I don't think these actually suit the car better than than the than the stock ones. To be honest, I think it looks a little bit nicer with more of a high profile um, tire on there. So these um, these stock rims are fucking doing a pretty good job, man. And I think if we change them to anything in the sport category, it is going to ruin the look of it somewhat. Uh, so I am going to try in the SUV Chrome because. Then we get wheels like this, which I think suit the car a little bit nicer. Then we've got the Dash VIPs, which are pretty cool, man. They look really nice. So, yeah, loads of nice stuff in the SUV category. We've also got the Cosmo, which are very similar to the stock ones. But you get a bit of a bit more of a deep dish on there, which is which is cool. Um, I think I might go with them, you know. 
They actually look really fucking sweet, man. They've got the Cosmos. And like I said, you get a bit more of a deep dish on there than what you do with the stock ones. Um, damn. Yeah, man, what a fuck not. We're going to go with the Chrome Cosmos. And also, whilst we're here, we're going to go into the tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. What's the tyre design look like on these bad boys? Uh, I don't know. Don't, I don't think I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I'm going to stay stock for the tyre print. And then, to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So you go, my bros. There is the brand new Vapid GB200. And I am overly impressed with this vehicle. It just looks amazing. It looks so close to the RS200 from real life. It isn't, it isn't even funny, you know? And um, <laughs> I just can't get over how fucking cool it looks. I think I, little, I, think I went a little bit too far with the neon glow because I don't tend to put neon, color, neon glows on my cars because I'm not a massive fan of them, same as I'm not a massive fan of deliveries. But, um, you know, I thought this is a bit of an outlandish car. Outlandish car. Uh, why not go for something a little bit different, try and bling it up a little bit, you know, pimp it out a bit more. And, um, you know, even though I'm not a massive fan of neon colours or neon glows, I still think it looks pretty fucking sweet. And I'm really happy that this car is now in the game. And uh, for the driving aspect of it, pulling off, you can feel how fucking quick it is. It's just, it's just rapid off the line. And it sounds awesome, sounds amazing. And I think this is definitely going to be a contender in the sports category. It's got to be. It's a brand new fucking sports car. It's nearly $1 million. It's got to be a contender. What we got, I think the Pariah at the minute is, is top dog in a straight line. Um, also around the track, if I'm not mistaken, is still the Pariah is still number one. Uh, the Elegy is second, I believe. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think that's the way it goes. We've got the Pariah in first. Then we've got the Elegy in second. So I'll be interested to see whereabouts this car comes in that in that list um, because it actually feels really good you know the the steering you know it still it feels a bit a little bit loose like it could spin out you know it could be unpredictable and spin out at any moment to be honest uh, but hopefully that's not the case but it does feel really really fucking quick you know straight off the line it feels good um, just driving cruising now it feels good it's weaving in and out of traffic quite nicely but then like I said it has got that unpredictable um, feel to it like it could do that there we go and it's just done it um, but yeah overall I think it actually feels really nice it feels quick um, the customizations on it are pretty good uh, the, just the overall look of the car is fucking amazing I'm really happy that this car's in the game now I mean I've got a massive smile on my face I know you can't see but be reassured I've got a massive smile on my face that this car is now in the game and I'm really really happy and um, worth the money depends whether you've got the money if you've got the money I'd buy it definitely because it is very unique look and it's not like anything else that we've got in the game and uh, yeah like I said again I'm overly impressed with the car and uh, really really happy there's now in the game but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did please give me a two sweet and until next time guys I'm out adios